What's up y'all? It's Emily Ann. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today's video is so exciting because I'm going to be talking to y'all about something that I love to do, which is crochet. So I posted a picture of this blanket that I made a couple weeks back on my Instagram and I was overwhelmed by all the comments and messages that I got over this blanket. So many of y'all had questions about how to do it and how to make one for yourself. So I thought it would be fun to make a video to explain everything and show you step by step how to make a blanket just like this. We also thought that it would be so fun to give away this exact blanket to one of my subscribers here on YouTube. So all you have to do to win this blanket is subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at emilyann underscore music, be sure to comment on my Instagram post about the blanket giveaway, you'll see it right there on my Instagram, and for a bonus entry, comment below on this video as well. Since there will only be one lucky winner, a bunch of y'all will still need to know how to make this for yourself at home, so if you would like to know, just keep watching. All right, so the supplies you'll need to get started on your blanket is, of course, yarn. I used Karen One Pound. I will link the exact colors that I used, and I loved how it turned out. It worked up really well. And then, of course, you need a crochet needle. This is a 5.5 mm size, and that's all you need. All right, so to start, you start with a simple slip knot, which is as easy as putting the yarn one piece over the other and pulling a piece through. To start the blanket, you have your slip knot. This right here is your tail. You're not gonna use this for anything for the rest of the blanket. This over here that is connected to your ball of yarn, that is called your working yarn. So to start, you stick the needle through the loop. Just forget about your tail. I usually hold mine over here out of the way. You're gonna take your working yarn and you're going to yarn over and pull through the loop. That is your first chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Second chain, yarn over, pull through the loop. Third chain, yarn over, pull through. Fourth chain, fifth chain, just like that. So now your chain dictates how wide your blanket is going to be. So for this particular pattern, you have to do an odd number of chains. For the blanket that I'm giving away in this video, I did a chain of 133. For the blanket that I did on my Instagram, which is quite a bit larger, I did a blanket of maybe 170 something. For today, for this demonstration, I'm just going to do a small swatch. So we'll probably do a chain of about 21. All right, so we have our chain made and we're gonna start our first row. Now the first row, I promise, is the hardest part of this blanket. Once you get past the first row, you will be good to go. So, what you're gonna do is yarn over, all right? And you're going to skip the first chain and put your needle in the second chain right here from the hook. Put it in that chain, yarn over, and you're gonna pull up a loop, all right? Now you're gonna yarn over and put it in the third chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you're gonna yarn over, skip the fourth chain and go into the fifth chain from the hook. Yarn over, and you should have seven chains on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook, all right? And then we're gonna close this off by chaining one. There you go, that's the first part. So then to go from there, you're going to yarn over, you're actually gonna stick your hook in this little loop that you made when you did that chain, this loop right there. You're gonna stick your hook in that loop, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over, stick your hook in the last chain you worked into, which is this bottom chain right here, yarn over, pull up a loop, you're going to yarn over one last time, and go into the next chain. I'm sorry, excuse me, you skip a chain and work into that chain. Seven loops on your hook, pull through, all seven. All right, 
We're gonna continue that. So yarn over, insert it into the chain space that we made, pull up a loop, yarn over, work into the last space that we worked into, pull up a loop, yarn over, oops, sorry, skip a chain, let's see, work into the next chain. Oops, sorry. Seven loops on your hook, pull through, chain one. So you're gonna continue that until you get to the end of the row. All right, so we've made it to the end of our row. So we're gonna do the same thing. Yarn over, insert into the chain space that we made, pull up a loop, yarn over, work into the last chain that we worked into, pull up a loop, yarn over, skip a chain, and then we're here to our last chain. So we're gonna insert into our last chain, pull up a loop, and then pull through all seven loops. Again, the same thing that we've been doing. And then chain one. And then you're going to chain two more. And then flip your work. And so that is what your first row should look like. Now the second row is a lot easier and every row from here on out will be easier because everything's kind of been mapped out from these cute little dot shapes that we've made. You can see when I stretch it out all the spaces in between those. So we've got our little chain up the side over here. So what you're going to do is yarn over, insert into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next chain from the hook, and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to put it in to this space that we've created that I showed you about all these spaces. You're gonna put it into the next space that you see, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got seven loops on your hook. Pull through all those loops and then chain one. And then you just continue that. So it's just a pattern. You just repeat the pattern over and over and over again until your blanket is done. Now. For the blanket that I made, it's a good throw size blanket. I did um, about 12 rows for each color and then I switched colors. So this is what you do is you continue the blanket and then I will show you how to add a new color in when you get to that place. All right, so we've made it to the end of our third row. So this is what it will start looking like as you work up the pattern. Now, of course, you'll continue if you are making the blanket, but just for the sake of showing you how to do it, I'm gonna stop with this color here. So, you're going to finish off the last stitch here on your third row, just as normal as we've done the whole time. And then you just stick it into that last loop on the end pull up your last chain, you've got seven loops, pull through and finish off that chain. So here's how you add a new color. What we're gonna do is go on and cut this yarn. We're done with that for now. We're gonna bring in our new color. All right, so you're gonna take your next color and this part can get a little tricky, but you will get the hang of it. So you're going to put that new color over your hook. You're going to pull up a loop just like that inside the loop that we had before. So once again, you'll have another tail. You can see it right here. And then you'll have your working yarn. You're going to chain one more. So now you've got your other chains. And then of course you're going to turn your project. So here's where things get a little complicated. Since this is not connected to anything yet, these get a little loose, these new chains that you've pulled up. So what we're gonna do is just go on and work into the second chain, just the same way we've been doing, but see how loose it's getting as we're working? Like that just completely almost pulled out, that's okay. All you'll do is pull these chains when you get done to tighten it. You're gonna go ahead and put it into the third chain from the hook, just the same pattern we've been doing this whole time and then in that free space there in your project. You've got seven chains or seven loops on your chain, on your hook. 
What is wrong with me? All right. See how all that is loose over here? No problem. We're just going to pull it. Just like that. And everything's tight and as it should be. So as you continue, you just do the same pattern that we have been doing this entire time. Put it into the last chain you worked out of, pull up a loop, yarn over, put it into that next free space, yarn over, pull up a loop, chain one, and you continue. All right, so we have our swatch done. I went ahead and did three rows of the purple color and three rows of this peachy color. I'm just gonna show you how you will end your blanket done. So go ahead and cut off the yarn. You've got your loop that your hook was around. And what I do is I just stick that piece of yarn through the hoop and pull and secure a small knot. That's all you do. All right, so after you've completed the pattern over and over again to your desired width and length, you will have your blanket. All the tails that I have from adding in colors, don't just cut them off. Some people like to use a um, needle and they will use the needle to weave that yarn back into the blanket, but I just use my fingers. So what I do is like this white piece right here, we're just gonna find the hole and we're gonna stick the yarn in the hole and just weave this into the blanket until it's all gone. So just do that to all your tails and then we'll talk about the border. All right, so all of our tails have been tucked in, so it's time for a border. We're going to do a white border just to make everything look really, really clean, but all it is is a single crochet border all around the blanket and I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, so you take your white yarn and what you're gonna do is pull up a loop so you're gonna go to the corner of your blanket right here where our corner and just like we did when we were adding colors we're gonna put that yarn over the hook and we are going to pull up a loop and you'll have a new tail a new working yarn so you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna start a single crochet so right here see all of these spaces that we have that's what we're gonna work into all right so to start we're not gonna yarn over or anything. This is just a single crochet. We're gonna insert our hook into the first loop, yarn over, pull through. Now you've got two loops on your hook and you're just gonna yarn over and pull through both of those loops and chain one. All right, we're gonna keep going. Insert into the next space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and chain one. All right, I'll do that again slower. So you're gonna take your hook, insert into the next space, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through and then chain one. And you're going to repeat that pattern all over the entire blanket. All right, so we've made it to the corner. So what we're gonna do is work three single crochets into each corner. So there's one, two, three. Chain one, and then you just continue down the side of the blanket. So we've made it to our corner where we started. So we're just gonna work three single crochets into this corner. Okay, and then cut our yarn. Pull down to tighten everything up and pull through. And then I like to tie these pieces together. Okay. 
and then you just weave your yarn through the edges. All right, y'all, so we have our border done, and this makes such a difference. I think it makes it look so clean. This is a step that you don't have to do, but I like to do. So basically, you will pin your blanket down with straight pins. I'm just using some like this. Um, you can put them on a mat. I just pin it down on my carpet, and then I spray the blanket with water. Just get it damp after it's pinned down, and then that will make it dry with all the edges perfectly straight. All right, our blanket has dried completely, so we just pulled the pins out, and now all the edges are perfectly straight and even. It looks so good. I'm so excited. So for the last step, we are going to make the cute little tassels that will go on both ends of the blanket. This is really, really simple. All you need is a small notebook. I'm just using a card, and you're going to take your white, yarn or whatever color you want the tassels to be and you are just going to wrap it around the note card. Alright so once you have a good bit on your note card, you'll probably have to do this a couple times because it takes quite a bit of these tassels, you're going to take your scissors and just cut right down the center right here. And just like that, you've got all your tassels, and I'll show you how to attach them. Alright, so I like to use four pieces of string. And what you're going to do is take your crochet hook. You're going to insert it. Put your yarn on. And this is at least how I do it to pull the yarn through. And then all you're going to do... All right, so showing y'all one more time. I'm just gonna go in that space that's in between each stitch that we did on the border. You're gonna put your four pieces of string around your hook. Just pull them through. And see, you'll have all these loops. And then just pull the string through. And you can go through at the end and trim them all up so they're even. All right, y'all, our tassels are on and our blanket is complete. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I would love to know if you would like to see more crocheting videos here on my channel and what you wanna see next. So be sure to leave that in the comments below and I'll be talking to y'all real soon. Bye.